Now, I hate horror films, but have you ever watched one and been so scared you're actually frozen to the seat? Oh, yes. Well, our Des was literally stuck to his seat today, strapped in, in fact, watching scary movies. It's all part of a, an eerie experiment at a cinema in Nottingham. Here's Des to explain more. You know, when I took this assignment, I jumped in with both feet. I ain't got a clue what's going on. All I know is that I'm going to be prodded, I'm going to be probed, I'm going to be tested as to my scare ability. And it all starts right here. Dr. Dare, our patient, Des. <laughs> Hi, Des. We've got five patients who are going to be wired up to a wheelchair, which is going to be monitoring their body's responses to extreme and repeated horrors. This is the, the second year in a row that we've run um, the Mayhem Horror Film Festival as a, as a weekend event. Members of the public are invited down to the cinema to see these live experiments projected outside the auditorium in real time, just that they'll get an idea of the horrors that have been experienced inside the auditorium as our patients are watching some of the UK's most scary horror films. On Saturday afternoon, we've got the cast and the writers and directors of Being Human, the BBC horror comedy series coming along. Sunday's special guest at Mayhem is Mike Hodges, the legendary director of Get Carter and Flash Gordon. You ready for your final film? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bring it to Top shelf, most horrific film we could find. Okay, go on, I'm Here ready. we go. Ah, turn it off! This is East Midlands Today with Kylie Pentelow no and me, Dominic Newell. Ah! Our top story tonight. <laughs> we, didn't, cruel. we didn't know that was coming up. Yeah. We're going to have words about that. Well, this is scary. Des, you know, was actually named on-screen personality of the year at the Midlands Royal Television Society Awards in Birmingham last night. Mm, well done to him. You weren't nominated then? <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, let's throw quickly to the weather. An old grot bags is back with a broomstick. 